back, obviously. Thank you. I mean, can you take us through your last three weeks? I mean, did did you confirm the test positive, and what was that experience like? Yeah, that was a, a interesting weeks, couple of weeks. No, I got I don't feel good with I, that game a day on Sunday against the Mavs. I didn't feel pretty well the night before. I mean, I didn't think about COVID. So when I came in, I was still sick. So I started a quick test just to be sure and that was positive. And I find out 45 minutes before the game. So, and then I did another one. And then I went back to the practice facility to run another test and I got three positive in one day. So, and the next day was still positive. So yeah. And then the next four or five days, yeah, I was pretty sick. So I was stuck at home in my room. Don't didn't move for like 10, 12 days. So, and then I got clear to, I mean, after I got two negative tests, I think I got clear to leave my house. I think Friday when we play the Lakers, I came in and practice facility that morning. That was the first time I literally leave my house. I left my house that day. So then I just had like two 35 minutes workout on Saturday and Sunday. Practice with the G League on Monday and that's it. And I can play tonight. Yeah, I was supposed to play less than 15, so yeah, all, all good. <laughs> and that's the first time I do in media with zero points, so yeah, interesting day. Uh, Nico, you left the game at one point due yeah. to a right foot injury. Can you walk us through what happened? Yeah, on the block, I blocked a shot and I uh, land on shoulder's foot, so that I rolled my ankle. So uh, for the uh, first game, it's not ideal, but no, it's... Should be okay. I, I mean, I got tape. I got a good tape, so should, I'm gonna be fine. The treatment for the next two days and should be should be good for Orlando. What did you make of the team's struggles, kind of breaking Boston's hard press in the fourth quarter? You know, we we have to stay calm. No, they did a good job. They put pressure on us, and you know, with Marcus Smart and and Schroeder, they did a pretty good job. But you no, know, we we have to work on that. We worked it a couple like a couple weeks ago. I remember when I was there. I don't think they did it the last couple of days. We got to work on that and be cool under pressure. No, no panic. No, we got the lead. They in a rush, so we don't need to to panic. They are they just should be the ones panicking. So uh, we find a way to win this game anyway. So I got to learn from it. We got videos the next two days and work on that and and get back and win the game on try to win the game against Orlando. Hey Nico. Uh... Well, this team has not been without you for like more than a couple of days since you signed with them. So for the, your extended absence, what did you observe from afar? No, we, we've been struggling. I mean, I, we have a couple of games. We didn't score a lot and I was playing too. My, the last game I played, we scored 27 points a second that in your So <laughs> that was brutal. But uh, no, I mean, that's interesting to be on, at home on your couch for like nine games. So you see the game like in different ways, but uh, you know, just cool to be back with the guys because, like, like I say, like couple of game like Sacramento and New Orleans, I, I like good and you like okay when I come back, I know what I have to do. We got Mook back now, so my role is going to be different than the first twenty games. I'm going to come off the bench now, so defense is going to be different. My offense is going to be different, so I'm going to have to adjust. To I mean, I start tonight because PG was out, but I know from now on my role is going to change. Like from coming off the bench, but I'm cool with that. I don't care. And um, it's just going to be different for me, but I know what I have to do, especially with a single unit. You know, it won't be the same player around me, but I'm cool with that. And, you know, I mean, I'm going to come in, play my role, and play defense one through five, and guard the big man one day, and the point guard the next day. And, you know, no fan to my job. Does Brandon seem like the same guy he was before you got sick? <laughs> no. I mean, yes. He did the same thing in G League and I was doing in the NBA. I mean, that's, that's great. No, he deserved it. He had a big time game for us tonight. No, he made some mistake at the end, but he took some crazy shot. Hey, he's 20 years old. That's his first big game. So, I mean, he, he's been great for us. Like, since the beginning, you know, he got there. He, he's not scared of anything. He just come in and, and play. He wants to win. I mean, I like his defense. I mean, he's been underrated on defense. He... He's, keep, he's, he's learning, no, he's learning, but the effort is he's there. Now he's coming on defense and he's trying and making the effort. He got, he got four steals tonight, I think. Yeah, four steals. It's not bad. 
So it's going to be great. Man, I like that kid. You know, he's going to just keep playing that way, be aggressive. It's going to be all right. How much does it help you guys, like such a veteran team, to have someone that young who like doesn't even know how to make mistakes, really? He just does whatever. I mean, we're going to need that. I don't think he's he was on the game plan. I mean, he's a 51st pick. I don't think they were prepared for that. And we're going to need that. Some, some that time we PJ was out. You know, I just came back. So we're going to and you know, Reggie kind of tired a little bit because he's been swing so much or some night. We're going to have a guy who have a big night. That was him tonight. And we needed that. Hey, Nick, how do you expect uh, Brandon to build off a big game like this? You know, just got to stay focused. You know, he, you know, he's a, he's a good player. You no, know, he's been around. He's been a good school. You know, we got, we got vets, we got vets around him. We have talked to him, got good coaching staff. So, you know, next game, we have to start over again. You know, we had a good game today, but hey, we need you in three days and, and do the same thing or maybe not, but you know, just go out there and compete. You know, if some night's going to be your night like tonight, and maybe next night it won't be your night, but you still can do stuff on the court for us, make us win. And that's a big challenge for him. It's going to be good.